In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix Xbox Cloud Gaming. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I want to present plenty of solutions to help you fix Xbox Cloud Gaming not working. Some of these solutions are going to help you if you are having trouble using their service on the website, so doing this process through a web browser, and others if you are trying to do this process through the standalone Xbox app on your Windows computer. Regardless of which option you are using, you will be able to assess the situation and fix any issues that might be happening with Xbox Cloud Gaming. So first, if you are doing this process on the website at xbox.com slash cloud, the first thing that you have to check, obviously, is to see if you are signed into a Microsoft or Xbox account. If you don't have an account set up, you will not be able to use their services. Even though you don't need Game Pass Ultimate, having it all can also help. Some games are going to be available for free as long as you are signed into an account, so for example Fortnite, but others might require a Game Pass subscription. So the first thing to check is that it see if you are signed into a Microsoft account and if necessary, see if the game that you are trying to play requires Game Pass. If it doesn't, you will be able to click play to start playing right away or alternatively, you will have to go through the process of buying Ultimate. Another thing to check is to see if you have a controller connected. For the first example that I gave, Fortnite, even though it is free to play, you don't need Game Pass Ultimate, you will notice that you get this warning, controller not detected. This is because most of the games on the cloud absolutely require a controller. They will refuse to work if you are using touch controls or even a keyboard and mouse, so you will have to connect a controller to your computer. It doesn't matter the brand of the controller as long as your controller is properly picked up by your computer. It is unfortunate, but you have to keep that in mind. Another thing to check is actually when you get into queue, try to see if you get any sort of loading bar or notification. This will give you how long the queue is, the wait time, and all you have to do here is wait as you might expect. However, if you aren't seeing this load bar or you don't see anything after you click play, another thing to do is to clear the browsing data, more specifically the cache of your web browser. If you are using Chrome, you will find this option when you click on these little three dots at the top right corner of the screen and you select settings. In here, look for cache and make sure that you clear the browsing data. Cleaning the browsing history, cookies, and the cached images and files can help refresh the website and make sure that you have all the necessary information and required files to play. Now, another thing to check is the current status of the servers. As you might expect, they have servers which facilitate cloud gaming, and if the cloud gaming and remote play servers are down, the services will be unavailable. You can check this at any time by looking for Xbox status on Google and accessing the first website. In here, they will tell you updates about the service and whether or not it is up and running. As you can see at the moment, it is up and running, which means that I can just wait in queue and I will be able to play. I can reproduce this on a web browser or, like I said, on the standalone launcher. The last thing to check on the standalone launcher is, like I said, the same things previously, so make sure you have Game Pass if it is necessary. Connect the controller, double check to see if you are signed into a Microsoft account, and finally, make sure that the app is up to date. Usually you can open up the Microsoft Store to see if the Xbox app requires any updates to function properly. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix Xbox Cloud Gaming not working. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.